Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hope you're doing well. Let us continue upon our journey of Dante Alighieri's The Divine Comedy, The Inferno. I really like it because it's unique. Makes you think about death and hell, even though we know, as Muslims at least, we cannot truly comprehend how awful hell is. But I do enjoy thinking about it because it terrifies us as it should. Let's begin. We are in Canto number 18. We are in the eighth circle. There is a place in hell called Malebolg, holy of stone and of an iron color, as is the circle that around it turns. Right in the middle of the field malign, there yawns a well exceeding wide and deep, of which its place the structure will recount. Round then is that enclosure which remains between the well and foot of the high hard bank, and has distinct invalies, ten its bottom. And where for the protection of the walls, many and many moats surround the castles. The part in which they are a figure forms, so there's moats around castles. So there's a castle in hell, and there's lots of iron and stone. There's a well that yawns, like, <gasps> it almost sounds like it's pulling in, right? The water's going down, it's pulling in. That's how I'm picturing it. Just such an image, those presented there, and as about such strongholds from their gates unto the outer bank are little bridges. So from the precipice's base did crags project which interceded dikes and moats unto the well that truncates and collects them. Within this place, down shaken from the back of Grayon, we found us, and the poet held to the left, and I moved on behind. And upon my right hand I beheld new anguish, new torments and new wielders of the lash, wherewith the foremost Borgia was replete. Down at the bottom were the sinners naked. So the sinners here are naked. He beheld a new anguish. Okay, so there's a lash, new wielders of the lash. This side, the middle, came they facing us, beyond it with us, but with greater steps. Even as the Romans, for the mighty host, the year of jubilee upon the bridge, have chosen a mode to pass the people over. For all upon one side, towards the castle, their faces have, and go unto St. Peter's. On the other side, they go towards the mountain. This side and that... Along the livid stone beheld I horned demons with great scourges who cruelly were beating them behind. So there's demons having horns and they're really whacking and whipping the people. And they're nude so you know the crack of that whip is going to be quite painful on your skin. Ah me! How they did make them lift their legs. At the first blows and soothe not any one the second waited for, nor for the third. So what is he saying here? They were whipped so quickly that they didn't have time to recover from the first one. So, whipped, ow, 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 ow. Like you can see it if you were like, whoosh, and they're like, ow. And then you have that three second pause, right? And then, whoosh, ow, ee. like you could feel it, but the way that the demon's going at them on their skin. And when he says great scourges, you probably... Imagine marks, flesh coming off, right? While I was going on, my eyes by one encountered were, and straight I said, Already with sight of this one, I am not unfed. Therefore I stayed my feet to make him out. And with me, the sweet guide came to a stand, and to my going somewhat back assented. And he, the scourged one, thought to hide himself, lowering his face, but little it availed him, for I said, 
thou that castest down thine eyes. If false are not the features which thou bearest, thou art Benedicto Cacianamico. I wonder who that is. I have to Google that, dude. But what doth bring thee to such pungent sauces? Pungent sauces. And he to me, unwillingly I tell it, but forces me thine utterance distinct, which makes me recollect the ancient world. I was the one who the fair Gisola induced to grant the wishes of the Marquise. However, the shameless story may be told, not the sole Bolognese I am I, who weeps here. Nay, rather, is this place so full of them that not so many tongues today are taught, twixt Reno and Savannah to say Sipa. And if thereof thou wishest pledge or proof, bring to thy mind our avaricious heart. Well, speaking in this manner with the scourge, a demon smote him and said, Get thee gone, pander. There are no women here for coin. <laughs> oh, dang. Hold on, hold on, hold on. A demon is like, sounds like he's saying there's no prostitutes here. Women for coin. I joined myself again unto mine escort. Like, he, like the demon's being sassy. Right? Like, whipping the dude and like, telling him, hey, get, move, get a move on. Because when you linger to talk to a hooker, right, you have to, you could, oh, how much, blah, blah, blah. There's like this disgusting little huddle. But it sounds like he's breaking up them talking. With a rude comment, right? I joined myself again unto mine escort. Yeah, see, so you shoot him off. There, afterwards, with footsteps few, we came to where a crag projected from the bank. This very easily did we ascend, and, turning to the right along its ridge, from those eternal circles we departed, when we were there, where it was hollowed out, Beneath to give a passage to the scourged, the guide said, Wait and see that on thee strike the vision of those others evil born, of whom thou hast not yet beheld the faces, because together with us they have gone. From the old bridge we looked upon the train, which towards us came upon other border, in which the scourges in like manner smite. And the good master, without my inquiring, said to me, See that tall one who is coming. And for his pain seems not to shed a tear. Still, what a royal aspect he retains. That Jason is, who by his heart and cunning, the Colchians of the ram made destitute. He by the Isle of Lemnos passed along after the daring women pitiless had unto death devoted all their males. There with his tokens and with ornate words did he deceive Hypsipyleo, the maiden who first herself had all the rest deceived. Interesting. There did he leave her pregnant and forlorn all. Such sin unto such punishment condense him. Oh, look at that. So that, oh. He abandoned a pregnant woman. Right? Wow. So he left her pregnant. And so he's condemned to hell for that. Well, that's part of the reason. And also for Medea is vengeance done. With him goes those who in such wise deceive, and this sufficient be of the first valley to know, and those that in its jaws it holds. We were already where the narrow path crosses athwart the second dike, and forms of that uh, buttress for another arch. Thence we heard people who are making moan in the next bolga, Snorting with their muzzles and with their palms beating upon themselves. So think about that. Like they're really in twisted uh, torment. It's quite clear. 
I mean, they're getting whipped by demons. I mean, come on now. And now there's people, like, really just suffering to the point where they're going to beat upon themselves. So, if you are in that much anguish, you're really out, out of yourself, really beside yourself. The margins were encrusted with a mold. Ew. Oh, man. You know, like, I don't like that. Ew, it's disgusting. By exaltation from below that sticks there, and with the eyes and nostrils wages war. So the stench, oh my goodness, that one has got to be the most tense one for me. It, it's the mold has such a rot to it that it's like hurting your eyes and nose. Dang. The bottom is so deep, no place suffices to give us sight of it without ascending the arches back, where most the crag and pens. Thither we came, and thence down in the moat I saw a people smothered in a filth that out of human privies seemed to flow. Ew. Smothered in a filth. Privies is another word for toilets. And which below there with mine eyes I search, I saw one with his head so foul with odor it was not clear if he were clerk or layman. With oh dear. He screamed to me, Wherefore art thou so eager to look at me more than the other foul ones? And I told him, Because if I remember, I have already seen thee with thy dry hair. And thou art Alessio Intermini of Luca, therefore I eye thee more than all the others. So he's recognized him, right? And he thereon, belaboring his pumpkin, the flatteries have submerged me here below. The flatteries have submerged me here below, wherewith my tongue was never surfeited. Then said to me the guide, See that thou thrust thy visage somewhat farther in advance, that with thine eyes thou well the face attain. Of that uncleanly and disheveled drab, who there doth scratch herself with filthy nails, ew, scratching herself with filthy nails, and crouches now on foot is standing. They is the harlot, is it, who replied unto her paramour when he said, Have I great gratitude from thee? Nay, marvelous. And herewith, thou, oh, and herewith let our sight be satisfied. So they is the harlot. So the harlot, it's another word for a whore, here is scratching herself with filthy nails. So it's not making herself pretty beautiful, right? Because if you think about it, those types of women really beautify their nails like ugly little. Today they do like these long dinosaur nails. They paint them like, you know, they're very into their hands. So to think that those hands would then turn upon themselves to make themselves scratched and filthy, it's like the beautification is inverted. Quite quite gross so you see people covered in a very stinky filth there's like the, this strong odor of mold you know that to me one is like one of the worst examples there's a, a, someone in in hell because they abandon a pregnant woman i like that because it's very wrong for men to abandon women in their pregnancy there's a naked sinners they're getting whipped by a demon who doesn't give them any respite, really. There's lots of stones, iron color in this circle. This circle is called Mele Bolg. There's moats. There's something that looks like a castle. So it's quite intense, you know. It's very vivid, this scene. And you can just get to the pain here. And so the people are, just think of it, they are in this filth that looks like sewage and smells so strong and there's like mold and so Dante and Virgil are peeping that out and they're witnessing all these horrors not fun man not fun be a nightmare to be stuck in that literally if you'd like to join my blog, it's www.subscribestar.com slash Archive. I post lots of interesting things on there. Educational things about culinary arts, vocabulary, we're breaking down Breaking Bad from an intellectual perspective. 
I put some hadiths on there. It's very mixed. So that's good. I like that. You never know what you're going to get. So take care and I'll see you there.